Ron DeSantis, tomorrow, the Florida House is going to vote on this. But in the meantime, the Florida Senate today passed Ron DeSantis' congressional map that creates four new Republican-leaning district uh, and is also going to remove Disney's self-governing power and special exempt status. If the Florida House passes this tomorrow, then for the first time since 1969, Florida will not allow Disney to essentially be judge, jury, and executioner when it comes to land use in all of the land that Walt Disney bought up. Why did this happen? Because Disney attempted to attack the state of Florida for the parental rights bill. They tried to brand it the don't say gay bill. Most of the time, most of the time politicians in those states, uh, when big companies come after them, they curl up in the fetal position and they basically apologize. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis did the opposite. When this happened, Ron DeSantis said, no, 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 no. Disney needs Florida more now than Florida needs Disney. And I think he's correct. They can't move Disney World out of Florida. So if you're going to come after the governor of the state of Florida and you're going to inject woke politics nationwide, well, the state of Florida said, we're going to fight back. There are going to be consequences if you are going to label our bills publicly as anti-trans and anti-gay falsely. We're going to fire back at you. And we are going to take away your preferred treatment that is unequal under the law, that gives Disney benefits that other corporations don't have. And I think Disney is understanding now that there are consequences when you go full-on woke. When you throw a punch at someone who is not woke, for a long time, people have just taken those punches. And they've said, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, corporation. Uh, What can we do to get back in your good graces? Ron DeSantis said we're not going to do that in Florida anymore. Florida needs Disney less than Disney needs Florida, but if they walk up and they throw a punch, we're going to throw a punch back. And by the way, this is kind of larger context sports. You got all these woke athletes, and people got mad at me because I pushed back against the woke athletes. They would throw punches. They would get praised by the sports media. And for a long time, my argument was, I just want everybody to be able to be sports fans. I still do. Democrats, Republicans, left-wingers, right-wingers, independents, people who don't care about politics at all. Sports should unite us. But increasingly, I'm of the opinion that you don't win by just making that argument. You have to throw back punches on your own because if you just let yourself get punched in the face time after time after time, the lesson that these companies learn is there is no consequences when they bend to woke politics. And I think Major League Baseball learned that in a big way when they moved the All-Star game out of Atlanta, that there were significant consequences to their brand when people threw punches back and when the majority of the American public didn't agree with it. And I think the NFL learned it. And I think the NBA has learned it. And I don't think it's a coincidence that the amount of woke politics in sports has declined substantially. Now, you can say one reason why is because Joe Biden won the election, and that could be true. And maybe it'll come back if Donald Trump runs for re-election in 2024 and attempts to become the 47th president of the United States, which I think he will. But in the meantime, I do think that the sports leagues have learned a lesson about embracing woke politics, uh, and that's because people like me have finally started to throw back punches and land significant blows, and that is what Ron DeSantis is doing right now with Disney, which is the parent company of ESPN.